Hi, in this video, I'm going to be reading an email that I received from a viewer and then answering it. And hopefully by answering this question, I can help someone else out there. Also, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. The person's name is Babas, and the subject is math. The message reads, Hey, I need some advice, please. So I basically dropped out of school at grade nine, and I want to get better at math. I saw your video, Learn Mathematics from Start to Finish, and I really don't know how to start. Can you please give me some advice? Good night. I like how they said good night. <laughs> it's great. So apparently they sent this at night. So my advice is um, go to college, right? Why not? So if you live in the US, you can go to college as long as you have a GED. So my advice would be to just go online and just go to Google and type in GED testing centers near me and try to find something reputable. You're probably going to get like a bunch of ads and a bunch of like weird websites. Try to find a place where you can go take your GED and it seems like a legit place. So I actually have my GED because I also dropped out of high school and I think I went to like some community college and I sat in a class one day and I didn't like the class. I didn't really feel like I needed it. So I just took the test and I passed. So I got lucky. So get your GED and then after you get your GED, go to like your local college. Most um, cities have a local college that you can go to. They're called community colleges in the US. And you take a test and you pay some money. It's usually not that much. Uh, it's like an application fee. And they tell you what classes you can take. And then you take some classes. If you are poor, it's uh, free in the US, so you can go for free. Um, if you're under 24 and you're poor, you have to include your parents' income. If you're over 24 or 24 or older in the US, um, you're considered independent in the eyes of financial aid. So you should be able to get um, full funding. You'll get a lot of money, you'll get grants, you'll get Pell Grants and stuff from the government, and you can use those to go to school. So if you're 24 or higher, you don't have to have your parents' income. What often, ha often happens to people is that they're under 24 and their parents make just a little bit too much money. And so they're in a situation where they can't get financial aid, so they can't go to school. So it's 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 always a little bit tricky. So college for the most part is free in the US um, uh, unless you make too much money or your parents make too much money, in which case you, you do have to you do have to pay, but that's my advice. Go to college, um, take all the classes, right? Take, you know, learn, learn English, learn to write some good essays and it'll, it'll help you learn to write emails and professional communication in the workplace. You'll, you'll learn science, you'll learn math and see what you like. And you like math. So, um, math is one of the hardest things for people in school. It really is. Uh, people dread taking math. So the fact you like math, I think is really cool. So um, that that's a big plus. That's a big plus. I initially went to college for uh, coding. I used to love coding, and then I discovered that um, I really like math, so I did math. So my advice is go to college. Try that. If anyone else has advice for Babas, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.